Hello everyone, Shadevire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia the Bunker. This is episode 4, and between the last episode and this one, like I mentioned, I went back to the soldiers' quarters to pick up some of the gas and stuff that we missed. I also managed to grab Laval's code without having to kill the rats or getting mauled by them. I kind of went through the door behind them, snuck up to them, and even though they were snarling and growling at me, I managed to grab the dog tag without getting attacked, so... Sometimes it seems you can get fairly close to them, and also you can kind of <laughs> lean in. But we're doing pretty good on gas now because we had enough to fill up the generator entirely and still have two extra cans. Also, I was curious about the location of the lighter, so I actually went back to the mission storage, you know, the, the room with all the lockers, to take a look at what was actually in those, and of course, the lighter is in one of them. I think it's in uh, Gerard's locker, so we're gonna have to find his body, but the, the wrench that we need is also in there. So I believe we are going to have to go into maintenance in order to get the code and then go back and actually get that so that we can get the bolt cutters. But we'll start up the generator here. Which I guess did run out while we were in the prison. That's why it was so dark. It wasn't because there was a lack of lights. Uh, I don't know if I got everything, but the creature is definitely a lot more aggressive when the lights are off, so he will keep popping out. Uh, do we need anything? I'm gonna take a bottle. I'm hoping that eventually we'll get to actually use one of these as a distraction. But for now, we're gonna go into maintenance and try to find that code, because I'm hoping we don't need anything to get it. And when I did my lap around here, I actually noticed that we had seen at least two places where we could use the bolt cutters. The locked filing cabinet and one of the medical cabinets. And presumably, we can also use the... Uh, wrench in order to get through those two vents we saw in the soldiers' quarters without having to use explosives. So, we're starting to get a little bit of, like, Metroidvania kind of progression here with items that we probably don't necessarily need, but would get us some extra stuff right now. However, we are going to open Laval's locker, which has something else useful in it. It has the gas mask. So, that is 6169. I also read that these codes are all randomized, so you can't reuse them between playthroughs. And also, the location of the dog tags themselves is somewhat random. There's a couple different places each person can be, I think. Okay, so now we have the gas mask. Meaning that we can use gas a little bit more liberally without having to worry about going through it. I do wonder if there's any kind of limitation or if we're basically just immune to gas while we have this thing on. But I assume there might actually be an area where we need that. There's the wrench. And item bag. Where's the lighter? There it is. So the lighter's pretty important, because clearly we have a bunch of things we could make that would give us other options for dealing with rats and whatnot, but we need the lighter to light them. Anyway, let's not waste fuel. Let's get going before the creature wakes up. We also know now that we can hide behind an explosive barrel and maybe not take any damage from it. I wouldn't rely on that tactic, but it's kind of funny that it happened, and if we have no other option, maybe we can try that. Okay, we want to get to maintenance, which we haven't been to, except maybe in the first episode. It might have been one of the areas I ran into. Okay, maintenance is down this way. But yeah, so without the generator on, I didn't really have the complete freedom to look around here. So there might still be an item or two that I missed, but I think we got most of the important stuff. I'm also going to keep the gas mask because we don't know what the conditions are in maintenance, so we might have to, uh, you know, use that. Now, we still don't have a way to deal with these rats very effectively. Yeah, there's no way around them. And here's one of the places where we need the wrench. Apparently, while we can't use the brick to open these things, we can use it to open the wooden doors. Like, you can throw a brick at a door repeatedly to break it down. Um, these rats are gonna be a problem. Uh, uh oh. He's coming out of the hole right there. I think. No? He definitely stuck his arm out. I saw his claws digging around, but 
I guess we weren't close enough for him to actually come out. The good thing is, he scared off the rats. So, if we can kind of wait him out here. Well, see Berlant. No locker there. I don't think he had a locker either. Wait, come on. That rat came out of the hole that he's in, and now I'm going to get attacked by one of them. I'm curious if I could just jump over these rats. Okay, he's behind us now. Uh, I'm going to try making a run for it. Oh, ow, ow. They bit my shins. I think I hit my head on the ceiling and landed on them. <laughs> okay. Give it a second to load in, because we haven't been to this area yet. Rats, keep out. Uh, well, the rats look like they're dead, so that's not a problem. There also isn't a body here, so there's nothing to attract more of them. I hope. Oh, look, we actually have a map for once. This submap has been added to the main map in the administration office. Okay, so those do get fleshed out. And we haven't gotten that before because all of the other doors were just locked. So we're here in the foreman's quarter. Um, well, we don't really know what we need. We just know that the guy is in here somewhere. He might be in the clerk's office. That might be why it's marked with a red thing. Soldat, Chenard. Stafford, have you noticed how the rats have changed down here lately? Ever since they opened up those tunnels, I swear the rats have gotten uglier. Like they're disfigured or something. And they're definitely more aggressive. Tell me I'm not going crazy. The rats getting into the, the other world goop and getting real nasty. Alright, burning the bodies. Something we can't do yet, because we don't have a friggin' lighter. More shotgun shells. I assume that at some point we will at least spot a shotgun. It might be in the prison. That seems like a place you would keep a shotgun. If anywhere. Alright. Uh, the exit is over here, right? I'm going to drop some gas over here so that we can just grab it on the way out. Or so it's easier to come back for. Okay, so I got bit by the rats twice, but one bandage was enough. So again, I'm not really sure how much damage the med kit would actually heal. Like how much damage you're able to take before dying. Cloth. There's a trap over there. I have a feeling that this area is going to be infested with rats. That seems like that might be like kind of the the gimmick for this area, especially because it's storage, so all the food would have been down here. So we have a gas grenade here. Seemingly nothing behind it but cloth. But what? The fucking bucket set it off. Oh, that doesn't matter. Gas grenade is not going to attract the creature. I say without being completely confident of that. I didn't do that. The rat did that. Oh, this place is nasty. Oh. gonna come out of this hole. I don't have anywhere to hide. Except in the gas.
he's gonna come out right next to me. <laughs> okay, the gas is gone. I'm surprised he didn't chase me, though. I thought he would have sprinted right after me when I ran out here. Okay, he's in the next room over. Now, it does seem that if you're not in the same room as the creature, this is what I learned between episodes, you can actually walk around without crouching. Like, as long as he can't see you, and you're not sprinting, you can just kind of walk around. Your footsteps are not that loud. But I feel like the further we get in this game, the less time we're going to have where he isn't somewhere around. room. Is this just a closet? This is just a closet. I just put myself in a box. I thought this was a room. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing back here. This corner is a dead end, right? Yeah, I don't think we can peel this open. Unless there's a lock we can shoot from in here. But if there is, it's too dark for me to tell. I mean, we have a moment of peace here. We need the wrench to get in there. Foreman's quarters. I'm just going in circles here. Wait, no. Foreman's quarters is not where the map is. There is a locked door. So this is probably the one that we could potentially shoot open. Okay, well, let's not delve too deeply. The pantry, unsurprisingly, empty. So there was another pantry upstairs. Bottle, bottle, cloth. A big old wheel of cheese that somehow the rats have not gone after very much. I know that mice are actually not very fond of cheese, but I think rats are probably less picky. And they would just eat cheese if they found it. So this is the workshop. Explosive barrel. I wonder if we'll be able to detonate explosive barrels without a bullet using a lighter somehow. Got a stick. Got a workbench, we got more fuel. I guess we don't really have a use for the workbench. More cloth. I should have grabbed a gas grenade once we picked up the gas mask. I could just throw something at the rats to get rid of them. They get a little offended, but they don't seem to actually care that much. Did we load our one bullet in? Yes. So we have a brick here, which theoretically could break open a locked door if there were any wooden locked doors around here. <laughs> well, I think they're going after the cheese. Is that the cheese? I don't remember there being another cheese on the floor, but whatever. We need to go to the foreman's office, because that's where we skipped over. Alright, I kind of expected the door to be locked, but it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. 
including a crispy foreman. Does he have a dog tag around him, though? No, no idea who this fellow is. Med kit, bandages, a bunch of the grates he removed. Oh, there's a dog tag. Yep, that's the one we needed. All right, so that'll get us a pretty handy tool. And then we could actually use that to backtrack to soldiers' quarters and open the vents. I guess the shotgun probably is in the arsenal. sounded like he emerged, but then he didn't make any more noise. So maybe he just stuck his hand out of a hole. Alright. Oh, so there's a Molotov here. Nope. Just an empty bottle of cloth. Gavin, I promised you a Christian burial, but you must understand, the rats would not stop coming. They swarmed your body, their teeth, their claws. They would not stop. I did what our ancestors did with face with unclean things. I burnt them and burnt what was left of you to stop them coming again. If you've made it to heaven, please forgive me. I remain down here in hell with all that de with that demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. I'm going to do as you suggested before you died. Make for the pillbox. Please, if you're up there, watch over me. Well, I guess this was his dead friend then and not him. Who took this picture though? <laughs> All right, so now we can go back and get... Was he the lighter? Because I think Stafford was the... The wrench. Still, the lighter would be handy to have. Especially for dealing with rats. Okay, nothing down here. Uh, I want to check the map to see if we got an updated objective, because... We don't know where this pillbox might be, but it might be like a, an area that's kind of facing out of the bunker. Um, okay, yeah, the pillbox is above munition storage. So we do need to get through those rats if we want to get the wrench. But let's go back and uh, grab that, save, and then, you know, come back here. So that we don't lose 20 minutes trying to do the same thing over and over again. I don't have a way to get rid of these rats. Like, I could make a Molotov, but then, you know, can't light it. You've been injured. Why is it just telling me that now? You're leaving a blood trail that might attract certain creatures. Well, shit. I don't have a bandage on me. We can make a bandage, though. We get back to the safe room, because there's plenty of cloth around. I haven't actually had a chance to test whether the creature would get in here. that. So, how would you do it on the generator? Uh, cutting it pretty close. So that definitely isn't an hour's worth then. locker. Ah, you know what? There's no reason not to save multiple times. Except for maybe an achievement that says, oh, only save the game five times or whatever. 
this would be a tough game, I think, to get through with a limited number of saves, considering the fact that you get insta-killed most of the time. Alright. So we have Gerard's code. Which is 1840. Now we have the lighter. This one does not have a... Oh, you can put a hotkey on it. I never noticed that. The revolver already has its own key, though, so... I don't think we need that. That is a lot more convenient. I really did think you had to <laughs> always open your inventory, which is why it seemed like if you need to pull out a Molotov or something to save yourself, that wasn't possible because of how long that would take. You know, when the creature grabs you and you're standing right in front of it. But if you have a hotkey for it and you can just chuck it at your feet, then that's a little different. Okay, we got a bunch of shit in here. Uh, I don't need the gas mask right now, I guess. Oh, I can't drop it. See, so that's one of the, the key items you have to put in there. Alright. And... I guess we're gonna try some fire solutions on these rats. I think the torch we can use to just wave them off and walk through, but then we have to go back through before the torch runs out. Save again. Check the map. Yep, good there. Quickly get back to maintenance. the wrong way. Uh, where is the turn? Oh, you know what? This is where we need to go. I need to get rid of these bodies and these rats because they're right where we need to go. So... Now, is the creature going to come out of that hole down there and then immediately walk into the fire? Sounds like he's just hanging out in the hole. there. But, you know, we have to get rid of this body because it's directly in the path we need to keep going through. Weird that the rats don't burn up, though. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think the creature has a fake-out state where he will stop producing dust while being in a hole. Okay. Now that we have the lighter, we can get past that one clump of rats that was by the workshop. We haven't gone down there yet, either. Pantry... I guess I should have looked at the map to see <laughs> what we needed to pass to get to the workshop. We're getting some blur in here from sanity effects, I think. Or it might just be the dust. Alright, I'm gonna grab the stick. Okay, it looks like we don't need gas for this either. But it also probably doesn't last very long. So... Put that on two for now. <laughs> oh, 
Well, he's not getting out of there. Can I just fucking hit this body? No. That would be too easy. DeHay. We also don't have a locker for him. Alphonse. Don't have a locker for him. Dossier. Alright, well now I don't know where we are. Uh oh. Creature's coming. Don't really have a way to put out this torch, I don't think. Can I just unequip it? Nope, nope, don't do it. Okay, good. They're short enough to go under the tripwire. Fuel storage. This looks like it might be connected to that staircase. Chapel. I mean, fuel storage seems like it would be pretty handy. So, of course, it is locked. Nope. You can use an empty bottle on the fuel tank to fill the bottle with fuel. Okay, there goes my torch. Alright, so... I guess there's no way we can actually take the fuel with us. We can only make, like, Molotovs here. Because I don't think it'll let you pour gas into the generator from a bottle. Why does it sound like there's a rat, like, right here? Okay. Where are you guys going? Are they just trying to attack me now? Is this like the aggressive rat area? I mean, at least they're only like kind of following me. Exit. This is where we came in. Pillbox. Let me guess, we're gonna need a key. Back, foul beasts, back. Oh, we gotta be quicker, this torch is not gonna last too long. If you require pillbox access, see me or Father Durai. We're both in possession of a key. Okay. Father Durai presumably would be in the chapel. Munition storage. Locked, of course. We don't want to attract the creature here because we are trapped in this corner. I think we're clear. Dust is fading. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, well, let's check. Man, they are quick. I think the blood trail is actually making us more vulnerable to rats. Okay, I really hope there's no traps here because I can barely see. Oh, the beast's nest, you say? Let me just bleed my way into here. Oh, finally. The bandage. So this is probably the state where we need a med kit to get the full health, but bandage is better than nothing. What the fuck you doing in here? Okay. We only fired one time. That was not enough. Okay. <laughs> you notice how our, our first round was blank. There was nothing there, so... I don't know if I didn't, like, rotate the cylinder properly.
So he's been bringing people here and stringing them up. In his macabre displays. Is this the... Fouché? 8654. Alright, I think that's one of the ones we needed. But I, that's not Durai. Alright. Better take a good look around, though, because I don't think we're getting another chance to look around here. Okay, there's Durai. Hey, uh, you got a key in here? There we go. Pillbox key. How come he looks so much fresher than everybody else? Oh no, the rats have found me. Uh, we don't really have a way to deal with this. I guess we don't need to. I'm just going to grab the note and go. Oh my god, get over the fucking... What are they called? Pews. Okay, we're going to retreat. Now that we have important items that I don't want to have to get again. Especially because it costs us bullets to get. We can go even deeper. Uh, that's locked. That requires a bullet. We do have a grenade still, I think. Nope, I dropped it. How do we get out of here without getting eaten? I think we're just going to have to sprint through the rat tunnel and hope that the rats are still following me. Ooh. It would be really embarrassing to get killed by rats. I got killed by rats. Fuck, that tunnel really sucks. So, I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to take advantage of that stack of potential Molotovs. In order to drive off the rats. Really wish we had one more <laughs> item slot. Okay, so we just need the cloth. Because down there we have a bottle and gas. Uh, I quickly want to check if Bouchard is the one that has the wrench. Lambert. No. Boucher has the extra inventory slot, which is nice, but that's not, like, essential. So, we're gonna need to get back into the chapel, and we are going to need to get the key for the pillbox, and then from there, I guess we'll... It's the arsenal, we don't want to go in there yet. I guess from there, we'll need to either come back and save, or make a break for the pillbox, but, you know... For reasons that we've already seen multiple times, I don't really want to do anything too essential after getting an important item. How do I keep forgetting where maintenance is? It's like down here. And then to the right. Nope. The next right. So we need to get rid of the rats again. to wait. You know, it might actually be worth going back and saving just to not have to do the fire again. Because that is one of those things that's just waiting time. And let's see. I might grab another cloth as well. So, I do wonder if the beast's nest in the chapel is a scripted attraction moment where it's going to come at us no matter what. Because that kind of seems like one of the places where it would definitely try to murder you.
But how would it know that you're there? Okay, so the plan here. We're going to use a torch to get through the rat tunnel. And then we are going to grab a bunch of Molotovs. Or make a bunch of Molotovs at the fuel storage. And use those to get back from the tunnel by burning bodies. Assuming the creature plays along. I haven't actually seen what's down here, because that's the stuff on the other side of the rat tunnel up there. So this might lead to the room with the lock. Oh, there's another body down here. Every time I take a step, I swear it can hear me. I have crawled into this hole here. I'll just wait. I'll just hold my breath and wait. Maybe it will go away if I'm just quiet enough. Oh god, let me be quiet enough. I'll just crawl into this hole that they keep coming out of, and definitely hope that it doesn't just sidle up next to me. Okay. The fact that we can go around this body tells me that we... Oh, this is actually a shortcut. We could avoid the rats completely if we get rid of that. But yeah, the, the fact that the rats are avoidable here means there's probably something in that locker behind them. So, we could completely avoid the rat plan and just use a bullet to get out of here, if we can avoid using a bullet on the creature. He's gone. The rats are a good, like, canary to know that he... Oh, maybe not. I was gonna say they're a good canary to know that he's... gone. But they came back and there's still dust coming out of the hole. I think. There might just be a lot of dust in the air here. No, he's definitely still there. Shit, this is where an empty bottle would be handy. The light's not flickering, though. Well, I'm flickering a little bit. Now, this is a case where we actually could reasonably reach through and shoot the lock. But... I don't think that's gonna work. I wanted to test uh, if we could push our luck there. He didn't even try to come out of the hole, though, which is surprising when I sprinted away. Okay, workshop. Nothing in this corner, right? There's gas, which we could have used to get through the tunnel full of rats with a gas mask, but we didn't bring it. So instead... We're gonna have to just head through here and use the torch. And grab a stick to make another torch. It's nice that they give you both ingredients right here, so you can be like, oh yeah, that probably works. Fuck off, rat. really does not last long, the effect of the torch. They don't remain in fear of the fire. Grab a note. Read the note. So we know where that is. Turn on the light here. So this is munition storage. I do think we want to get in there. Fuck, I didn't bring a grenade again. Okay, we know there's a bandage in the chapel. And we know that the rats are going to probably follow me because I'm injured. That's another cloth there. Okay, I'm still not really sure if we're going to go for plan fire or plan bullet. It really depends if we can get the key without using bullets, I guess. Ah! 
Presumably, though, this is an unlimited source of gas for the bottles. Because it's a pretty big drum. It's a shame we can't refuel the gas can. Maybe it's not full of petrol? Though petrol is just gas, so... Never mind. Okay, fuel bottle. Plus that. Makes a petrol bomb. Oh, these already have fuel in them. Those are empty. I don't know why I made like an injured sound when I did that. Now, the thing is, fire is, I believe, stealthier than using a bullet. I mean, should be. It's just a glass bottle shattering, and it seems like it just draws the creature's attention, but doesn't actually... Fuck. Right, that's why he came after us in the chapel last time. Because I stepped on the fucking explosive. Now, I have a feeling... The fact that we're bleeding is why he will probably discover us in here. Can't believe I forgot that fucking grenade was there. Two options. We either hope that he doesn't find us, or I throw a fucking Molotov at him right now before he gets close. So I don't set myself on fire. Pretty sure if he smashes open this door, or yanks open this door, then I'm going to set myself on fire if I throw a Molotov. Unless I can aim it really well behind him in one second. Oh, he's shattering pews trying to find me. I'm... <laughs> I don't think the game has complex enough mechanics for this, but I'm really hoping that the blood in here and the dead body will cover up our scent and our blood. Okay, we're clear. He's not in the chapel anymore. Ah, oh, the key takes up the inventory slot. Okay. Well, you know, I could probably do this. Grab that note. I'm not going to read it here because we're probably going to get murdered. So there's nothing else important here, right? We've got a lot of heads. we got a dog tag, but we don't have Stafford's tag or Stafford's code, which we need. Stafford is in the pillbox, so... <sighs> what I really need to do right now is open this shortcut. Because the alternative is we go straight to the pillbox, potentially then dying afterwards, wasting a bunch of time, or we try to get through the rat thing, which is probably going to attract the creature anyway. I don't know how to rotate it to the right cylinder. You think he would do that automatically, but it wasn't there. Okay. Now, hopefully, we have time to hide here. Not injured, and this seems like a decent corner to hide in, so I think we should be clear. This is a pretty big room. And worst comes to worst, we could use that gas tank there. And we do still have the Molotovs, so we could find out if the creature doesn't like fire either. 
Though I feel like that would be a good way to fuck with the player, is to turn out, hey, the one thing it's not bothered by is <laughs> fire. It doesn't like bullets, it doesn't like gas, it doesn't like exploding, but fire does not give a shit about it. Okay. Our shortcut is open. We survived the unlocking of that door. Now we just need to go to the pillbox and get the code, and that would be a great way to end this episode successfully. Oh, fuck. What a ominous fucking portent to have that happen right here as I said that. Please don't get mauled by rats. What's that? Stick? Get the stick, stupid. Um, hmm. We still have another torch, so... Worst comes to worst, if our other exit is blocked, we can... torch our way out of here. So I'm guessing we can't get out through the pillbox. It's probably collapsed or whatever. You know, the window that you would use to get out of here is probably collapsed. I mean, you could probably get out of here if you were desperate enough. And if the Germans would let you. But I'd like throw a blanket over those wires and you could probably climb out of here. I bet you actually will get shot if you stay here too long. In fact, this guy probably got shot. On account of, you know, the bullet hole where his eye used to be. Alright. So there's Stafford. Now we can go back and get the wrench, and then we can use the wrench to get the bolt cutters, and then we probably have all the important items we need for the moment. Okay, so there's nothing else up here. Just a momentary taste of fresh air before we go back into the charnel house that this place has become. That guy's just shooting at nothing now. There's nobody else up there. <laughs> okay. Just need to get back to the stairs before the rats eat me. I suppose the other question is why the creature hasn't burrowed its way out. Clearly it's able to burrow through the walls, so why not just dig its way out? Okay. Exit, exit. Pantry. Foreman's quarters. Exit. I dare say, even though we're not back yet, and I don't want to jinx it, this may have been a very successful run. I think I want to get rid of here. Uh, you know, I'll drop the cloth for now. Grab the gas. We should probably have enough gas left, though, to fill up the generator, or nearly fill it up. But yeah, I think that went pretty successfully. We only really died once to rats, which was embarrassing, but... It had to happen at least once in this playthrough, I guess. Welcome to I still don't know <laughs> how to get through here. So, when we get the wrench, that means we can get into that one, like, bottle storage area. I don't know if we can get anything useful out of there, but we can get in there at least. Okay. Another successful return. Drop all our shit on the ground till we figure out what we need. I think four cans is enough to fill it up. Because each one does about two ticks of the dial. Oh, maybe five. The 
watch doesn't really seem essential just because it lasts for so long. So, like, I don't feel that I should really be wasting that spot. Now, before we finish the episode, we are going to go open those lockers just because then we don't have to do it next time. But I don't want to do that in dark because there's still a good chance we'll get murdered in the dark even if the safe room is right there. Okay, so now we can get a inventory upgrade and our wrench. So Boucher is 8654. No, oh, it was already in the right position. Grab that. And we need Foreman Stafford, who is 2042. All right, wrench obtained. You get a little jingle when you get the wrench because it's important. So that one's empty. Eau Claire, Delisle. Oh, we already got that one. I'm trying to see how many lockers we have left open. So we have Lambert, we have Fortin. And we have Bardin. Which one of them is... Hmm. No, I guess the bolt cutters aren't in here. They're down there. I was going to say that we had another important item, but we already got the lighter and the gas mask. So, yeah, we only got like four or five more lockers to open. Which means there's probably not too many more dead bodies to find. Now, where was that wine room? That would be one more thing I'd like to check off, even though we're probably running at an hour again. I keep saying I'm gonna make these shorter at like 40 minutes, but then it's hard to do that in this game. You really do need a lot of time to make progress, especially if you're dying and having to redo stuff. I think it was back here. Nope, that's a dead end. Strategic operations. I was pretty sure it was over here by the officers. Maintenance. It's not down there. Or is it down there? Is it right next to that? Yeah, it's down here. So I guess what that one photo we found was really telling us is that there is a wrench somewhere specifically for removing these. Now what do we get in here? Because we don't need wine. What we get in here is an unlimited supply of fucking empty bottles. <laughs> 18th of May, 1916, from Sergeant Renard to M. Fournier and D. Blanchette. Leroux reports that Neuer is the source of the problem. He's going around telling the men that those damned texts contain accounts of pagan rituals performed in those tunnels, ghastly and wild stories. Now superstition and rumors are passed around the men like an open flask or venereal disease. Some even say they have seen the things, ghosts, demons, fairies. Instead of the angel of Mons, I'm afraid we have the devils of Boisier. I've called Noya for reprimanding. I'll make sure he, it is appropriately severe. Meanwhile, the engineers continue to dig. And is this also Renard? 9th of June, 1916, from Sergeant Renard to M. Fournier. Sabotage has left the tunnel project in ruins. At approximately 23 hours, 30 minutes on 2nd June, an explosion ripped through the tunnel system. It was quickly determined that the explosives were missing from the arsenal and the explosion was no in accident. After a swift investigation, the following soldiers have confessed to sabotage. 
so that Gab Gaspar Larue, so that first class Johannes Nicolet, so that Toussaint Buffoy, so that first class Jean Renoir, and engineer Ozan Zabel. Four of the guilty now rot in the cells awaiting tribunal. The fifth, Toussaint, remains unaccounted for. He may have been killed in the blast. I believe there are others involved, but as of yet no one will say anything. Worse than double agents, these men are cowards. They scream about ghosts and demons and other worlds. They claim they committed this act of treason to save their fellow soldiers from hell. I tell nonsense. We are still working to clear the tunnel site and assess the damage, but I fear that any hope of using them for our purposes is now lost. In addition, the explosion has caused other structural damage to the bunker itself. Flooding is now occurring in various areas. Yep, kind of drifted in and out of it there, but I think I'm getting closer to what a sort of French accent would be. So we could have also used the bolt cutters to get in here. Those are the bolt cuttable chains. Not really anything in there, but if we need bottles, we know where to go. We basically have a theoretical infinite supply of petrol bombs now. If we... I guess we had a supply of cloth. Maintenance. So yeah, that'll do it for this episode of... Oh boy. Amnesia the Bunker. I think we're making some pretty solid progress. Probably not too much game left. Next time... We are probably going to go back to Soldier's Quarters and then the prison in order to get, yeah, the bolt cutters. I was going to say, wait, hold on, is the wrench going to get us that? But it is because we're going to get into the control room and then open up all the cells. And then the prisoner is probably going to get murdered, I guess, because I can't imagine him surviving. So, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you back here in the bunker soon, but... I had a good time this episode. I think we actually made some solid, like, progress and some ideas actually work. And we found the Beast's Lair, which we're going to have to return to. But until the next one, take care.